I'm going to show you quickly how to take data and that is all in one cell and break it out into separate cells. So quickly looking at this particular um, data set that I'm using for the purposes of this video, what this is, we want to separate out the Twitter username from the actual tweet that they sent out. Um, so here you can see add Bianca and then there's her tweet. So this is what my data originally looks like, uh, but for purposes of streamlining this video, I have went through and I've defined a special character in between the username and the tweet um, because we need to give Excel an idea when we perform this function what it is that's breaking the data out that we want to um, create into separate cells. Um, go ahead and highlight the entire range of data that you want to perform this operation with. We have that highlighted, then you're going to go um, to data and then you're going to choose text to columns and in this particular instance I do want to have it set at delimited because it's a character such as a comma or tab that is separating my field because my little close bracket is my character that I've chosen. I'm going to go ahead and hit next um, and then I have selected other and I've put in the character that I've put into this particular data set so Excel knows exactly what it is that it's looking for and I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Um, I do want it to go into just general format when it goes into its next column and I'm going to go ahead and hit finish. And you can see how that has separated out the data um, based on that little bracket that I put in and the bracket itself now is actually gone. So in column A now I have all the Twitter usernames and in column B I have the actual tweets. Now of course a little bit more cleanup that's actually necessary in this particular instance um, but for purposes of this video, I was just showing how to take data that's in one cell and to separate it out into multiple. One word of advice um, before you actually perform that function, make sure that the cells to the right here are actually blank, otherwise Excel by default is going to want to overwrite whatever you have in these particular cells. So again, really quick, just to show you this how quickly it goes again, we already have in our special character, text to columns, choose delimited um, if you're using a character. I want to go ahead and hit next. Make sure Excel knows which character it is that it's looking for. Maybe you're using a space, a comma, semicolon, tab. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And then you're going to hit finish and there you go. Um, and that's how easy it is.